Thanks very much. Now, what do celebrities James Nesbitt and Jason Gardner have in common? Well, they've all have had hair restoration surgery to restore their hairline. Here to tell us more about that is one of Europe's leading hair restoration experts, Dr. Morris Collins, and four live hairstylist, Shay Dempsey, who has had the procedure. Shock! <laughs> How are you both? Very well indeed, thanks Maura. Good Morris, morning. I just want to come to you first to ask you exactly, just for people watching, what exactly is hair restoration? When a man loses hair, it's normally in a pattern style, that's why it's called male pattern hair loss. And normally they lose all the hair on top, but they retain a horseshoe around the back and sides. That hair is immune to the balding process, and we can move that to a new location on the scalp and it'll grow there for the rest of the person's life. So that's the fundamentals. Okay, so you say you take uh, some of the hair follicles, is that how you do Correct, it? Correct, yes. And you replant them, literally? Literally, it's like moving the roses from the back garden into the front garden. <laughs> well, now you make it sound very, very easy, Morris, but I'm sure it's, it's an extremely difficult process. It's, the principle is very simple, but the technical aspects are some of the most challenging I've ever experienced in my surgical life. And we've 18 people in the team who actually carry out the transplant procedure surgeons, nurses, uh, and technicians. Okay. So it's a very, very skillful process. Right. Now, of course, a lot of famous celebrities that we would have heard of have had this, uh, men that have been receding. Someone, one of our own, James Nesbitt, mm -hmm. and I believe you did his, his surgery. Yes, uh, James has very kindly agreed to go public on his hair transplant, so I obviously can't talk about the specifics of his hair transplant. Of course, but, but he's one of the he's, he's one of the he's people. very very happy with it and Great. very pleased, and he thinks it's helped his acting career. Yeah, I'm sure, well, I'm sure. I mean, it, it, it is it is you know your crown and glory, mm. as they say. Now, another person that I couldn't believe. We've just got to show you these photos. Jason Gardner, one of the judges from Strictly, are dancing on ice. I should say. Look at him. Now, this is the guy who used to give out whatever. Maybe that's why he's so grouchy because he had lost all his hair. But anyway, look at the aftershot. Look at this. Wow. It's unbelievable. That's amazing, isn't it? That's Morris, very, very good. tell us about that. Is that really impressive or what? <coughs> it's very, very impressive. Uh, this was done by a Dr. Craig Ziering, who's mm. a colleague of mine in, in L.A. And Craig was actually visiting Ireland last year, and he came to our clinic. So yeah. um, he's, he's got a marvellous result. It's, it's wonderful. Now, mm. Shay. Yes. You've had hair restoration yourself. Yeah. And did you start losing your hair? How early were how, how you? I probably saw signs in about 22, 23. Um, I had a really big mane of hair. I mean, I had all these curls and it was like, you know, fabulous and I loved it. Uh, and it really started to thin. So I, you know, I really sort of felt like I'm either going to have to take this off, like take it down, shave, shave your or head, do yeah. something about it. Yeah, so you, and you, you went through it. What was the process like to, to go through it yourself? Did it take a long time? Um, well, after meeting Morris, I sort of my mind was sort of made up pretty quickly. You know, I felt I was in good hands, so I went straight ahead and had the surgery. And uh, you know, the, the procedure is, is is the day in itself is an easy day, but then you don't see any results for maybe three to four months. So you're waiting. You know, oh, you're, you're waiting quite anxious. Like regular hair, I suppose, to grow. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. waiting for sprouting. Yeah. It yeah, goes exactly. into a hibernation state for about three months, mm. and then it, and then it's growing there for the rest of your life. Yeah. Mm. And is it just one visit or one surgery? We, we actually carried out two surgeries on Shea. Okay. Um, we satisfied a lot of his initial concerns, but then he got greedy mm. and wanted more at the back. It's so. true. Yeah, you feel mm -hmm. like you know. After I saw the first one, Samson. you start to get a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Come on, let's fill in a little bit more. And um, we have shots of your surgery. Actually, you? I know that you you are one of the people who are happy to talk about oh, this. Yeah. There we see you receding. Look at that, Phil. Look Collins. at that. Yeah, totally. Actually, hmm. Yeah. There you are. Holy moly! I yeah. think we actually have a shot of the actual surgery, some of that as well. We don't. But basically, there was a piece at the back. Oh, there's the, there's yeah. there's the two sides. Okay, there you are before and after. Yeah. There is a big difference. Look well, at you, you now. You can see shape. the hairline. If you look at the hairline there on the second shot, I mean, it's just filled in so much, and then again, even through the middle, it was so translucent that you could just see my scalp. Yeah. So again, I would have like how many years ago was that? About four or five years. So that would have continued yeah. on. Okay. So now I would have been a snooker ball. Yeah. So now, Shay, your hair just grows regular like anyone's hair. Absolutely. Uh, get it cut every five, six weeks. It's great. Yeah, and uh, oftentimes it's it's we're just actually oh. we are we are showing that. Let's take so a quick the look there. That, that was the day of surgery, Maura, and that was his new hairline. Okay. And the hair went in behind that. Obviously, it's not a perfectly straight line like that. And one of the key areas in the transplant is that it must look totally natural. And if you look at Shay's hairline now closely, you can't tell that it's actually transplanted hair. It's, it's very interesting. Is this a process that costs you lots of money, or does it depend on how much hair you want to put in, Morris? The cost of doing this is enormous. Yeah. And 
you know, it, it, patients will save up for it. It's a bit like changing a car, going on an of expensive course. holiday. But it's on your head for the rest of your life. The hair is immune to the balding process. And there's, I, I really feel there's no such thing as a cheap hair transplant. If you're going to do this, you do it properly. Absolutely. Otherwise, accept your hair loss and get on with your life. Yeah, I suppose the reality is it is surgery. You're undergoing yes. surgery. You want somebody totally professional like yourself or another surgeon that's totally professional mm -hmm. to do that. Mm. Uh, we are talking probably thousands. We're not talking mm. thousands of hundreds of thousands or anything. We're not. Yeah. But, you know, it does depend on the person. Is everyone totally uh, able to do this? Is, 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 can everyone be a candidate? About one in four patients that I see are suitable for hair, okay. hair transplantation. Some young men, we treat them with medicines. Okay. Thank you very much for telling us about thank that, Shay. No thank problem. you for coming. And unfortunately, we have to leave it there. All the details no are on the website. And there are also uh, a lot of other clinics around the country, as well as Morris's Place, that you can decide to go to. Now, that's all we have time for today. The Daily Show is coming up next. On tomorrow's 4 Live, we have the final of our domestic goddess.